today. It's uh, March 4th, 2022. I'm Rick Charney, and we're interviewing Marsha Friedman. And Marsha, please yes. tell us a little bit about your family history and start with, if you can, your grandparents and where they were born and how you okay. ended up in Dallas. My mother was a Dallas native, born and raised here in Dallas. Um, my grandfather was a dentist in downtown Dallas. Um, my other grandparents are from New York. That's where my father was from. Um, oh, Sylvia and Saul Hutt were my parents. Okay. Uh, Fanny and Max Silverman were my grandparents. And their whole family is down here from... Um, Fort Worth and Corsicana and all over. Okay. And I had a sister and a brother. My brother Mitch died when he was 17 of cancer. My younger sister Nikki died about four years ago. Uh, we graduated from Hillcrest. We were members of Temple Emmanuel on Northwest Highway. Uh, had a great time there. My mother worked at Golden Acres for about 10 or 15 years and loved it. Um, what else? When Stan and I got married, we moved to Baltimore, like Stan said. Uh, stayed there until 1972. Came back here and were amazed that they were showing us houses in Plano because nobody lived in Plano at that time. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We had the three boys. And you're lucky to have the twins. Enjoy them. They're a lot of fun. Thank you. Every day. Yes. Yes. It's wonderful. Um, Stan and I really got active in BBYO in uh, 1990. I hated BBYO. And my mother forced me into it. I couldn't stand it. But being an advisor, it was great. Absolutely wonderful. Met a lot of nice kids and their parents and got along really well. And we were doing that for, I thought, seven years. I might be wrong. Um, that really brought us into the Jewish community, I guess. Youthful, youthful energy, it seems. Oh, God, yes. Where are those days? Those have gone away. Um, when uh, we started with uh, a dot hopper ring, it was really nice. It was wonderful. We really got into meeting a lot of people and uh, saw the religious school and the temple in a different way than at um, Emmanuel. Um, what, what, would you, what, what would you say was the biggest difference between the BBYO when you were a teenager versus the BBYO when you were an advisor? Okay. When I was a teenager, I didn't want, I mean, BBYO back then, I'm not sure it's indifferent, was very snobbish. And I didn't feel comfortable. And I was forced to join because that's what you did. And I hated it. But being an advisor was a lot of fun. And the kids were different. The kids were wonderful. Uh, that's about really the only difference. It was just right. a different situation. And as an advisor, you could help make it as inclusive as possible for all the kids, even the ones who felt that they were forced to be there. God, I hope so. But I wouldn't bet on that. Okay. I had a great time. I had a great time. It was wonderful being with other advisors. It was great seeing things from a different point of view. Yes, you know. Um, my very best girlfriend is Hope Levine, and we were both started school at Franklin at the same time, and we've been friends ever since. Um, any fun, you got to give us a fun story of 
of the two of you. Well, Hope early. got me kicked out of services at Emmanuel. There you go. Because uh, we were on Friday night services and Rabbi Klein was leading the service. And um, during the service, Hope sort of shot me the finger. And Rabbi Klein caught us. And that wasn't pleasant. He wasn't really happy with us at that time. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm amazed that. What? Oh, my mother sort of crashed Rabbi Klein's brand new car. That's funny. Yes, she was not a great driver. Okay. And um, I don't know if I said that she worked at Golden Acres. Yep. And um, you didn't we were say where your dad worked. My dad worked in um, got Chicago for UJA. Okay. They got a divorce when I was in high school. Okay. Um, but my mother was always dragging my sister and my brother and I out to Golden Acres when they had bingo night and things like that. Right. And I remember one night I was um, over there and somebody asked me to take them home in the wheelchair. And I was down the block before my mother caught up with me to tell me that they didn't live there. They wanted to go back home in New York. Mm. So that took some time. And Marsha, what is your maiden name? Hut. H-U-T-T. -T. Okay. And... Um, so your mother was probably your biggest role model, it sounds like. Yeah, her, she went through a lot. Years. She did go through a lot. My father was not very nice to her. Um, but she always worked, and she was always wonderful. She worked at the JCC for a long time. And then she started working at Golden Acres, and she worked there with uh, Dr. Herb Shore. And um, was terrific. She was a social worker there. And uh, she was the sweetest person. She really was. She always had nice things to say about people. And what I love the most is that she grew up in Forest Avenue over on PV Road. Mm -hmm. And it was great to, when we came back to Dallas in 60. Um, it was great that people knew who she was. And thought highly of her. And uh, that was wonderful. Uh, I worked at the Holocaust Museum starting at, out at the JCC. And was with them when they first moved downtown. Before they built that big, beautiful one now. Amazing. So I saw a lot of changes in Dallas. I mean... I guess it was the 70s or maybe the 80s when everybody started moving down here from Ohio and other places. Yeah. And really brought a change about in the Jewish area because there were a lot of Jews all of a sudden moving down here. And um, didn't realize that there were Jews in Salina or Jews in Frisco and stuff. Never thought there'd be more than three synagogues in this town. Right. I mean, when we were growing up, it was Emmanuel, Sheriff Israel, and Teferit. Right. And now there's all these other ones. Um, the town has changed a lot. When I first started work, it was at North Park Center when it was first opened. And then I worked at Sterling's on Northwest Highway. Um, then I came back and I worked Kaiser Permanente for a long time. And, um, that's about all. Now we're just waiting to die. No, thank you. Well, um, it's, with what's going on in the world, I don't think I'd mind it so much. I know. It's terrible. It's very frightening. Yeah. It, it really is, is frightening. Yeah, this. Uh, I know the biggest thing that's changed. Mm -hmm. 
Um, oh, I had such a good thing too. Phil's is no longer there. The old retailer? No, Phil's the uh, restaurant. Yeah, never had it. Oh, it's now where Cindy's is. Oh, sure. No Cindy's very well. Yeah, and it was Phil's and it was a great place. And um, so we're going to back up just a little bit and then you'll re rethink of your thought. Did you go to UT as well back in the? Where did no, you I went to North Texas. Okay. So did you were always kind of in the North Texas area. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, we, um, it was really a nice life. It really has been in Dallas and seeing all the things that have changed. Uh, that's about all I have to say. And, and the kiddos, tell us a little bit more. I guess Stan said a little bit, but what are some of your greatest memories from raising the twin boys and, of course, Jeff? And uh... I found that with the three kids, the three boys, it was very difficult to watch them play sports because they usually weren't on the same teams. And so you didn't know who you were going to cheer for. Mm. And uh, the boys were great. It was very interesting. Joel and Mark didn't have that great a uh, time with the Jewish area, but Jeff loved it. AZA for Jeff was wonderful. He was a beau and um, he enjoyed all that activity. And he's still very, very good friends with the people he knew in AZA. Um, which I thought was really good, right. which is really nice. Um, that's really all there was to it. It was a nice family. We had some good times. Um, it was hard to raise sometimes, but that's what it is. Besides the growth in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, what other changes have you lived through and experienced or, or anticipate coming even? I remember when Stan and I first got married, Valley View was just being built. Mm -hmm. And the only thing there was Sears. And now when we go by Valley View, it's all torn down and it's going to go up as a whole community. And I, I can't believe the amount of growth that this town has had. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing to me. Where are you from? I'm from here, born and raised in Dallas, and went to Brenfield, Park Hill, Pierce, all in RISD. And then, oh, yeah. did you know Shannon Friedman? You know, I wanted to ask you about the Friedman last name. I do not know Shannon. I know many Friedmans. Um, I'm assuming Stan might know a little bit more about the, the origins or some of the earlier Friedmans, but... It seems like one of the most popular Jewish names. What is what? What's the story or the history, if possible, behind the Friedman last name? No idea. Don't know, but it, basically, I'm five ten and a half. Stan and his brothers were all well up with six feet. So the tall Friedmans. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You got to be tall to have a name like Friedman. Yeah. Um. And the, but, and the um, double E versus the IE? What is it? No, it's the IE. Okay. Because that's the real Friedman name. Okay. But um, you went to where? What school? Pierce for high school near Berkner. Yeah, that's where Shannon went. Yeah, J.J. Pierce. And I yeah. graduated. Shannon and Carrie. Friedman. I graduated and, um, 02. I'm 37, so... I don't know well, okay, is. Shannon's in her 50s. Yeah. But um, who were the boys that were at um, in DZ from there? Gold? Eric Gold? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he was I know an Eric. advisor. Yeah. I mean, BBYO was popular when I was 16. It, 
I don't think we were forced by our parents to. I think we kind of wanted to try it, but you know, I was into the sports and I just I never really dug deep into the Jewish portion and the and the you know the tradition in the area. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then but, I was fortunate. I, I, I think I was in the last ITT Israel teen tour uh, trip, which would have been 2000. Um, wow. And then they, they stopped it for safety and security reasons yeah. for 20 um, years. There's, there's, yeah. Um, do you still keep up with your friends from then? Absolutely. My best friends who I had lunch with today went to Solomon Schechter Academy with me when I was two and three years old. Oh my God. So does it seem to me that long ago? Yeah. And I was at Levine Academy this morning for my own two, my own four-year-old's Shabbat service. Oh, how neat. So um, commitment to the community, you know, enjoying it grow. It's, it's been a pleasure, but um, to, you know, see the commitment from people like you and Stan is, is why the community has grown, in my opinion. It's just a, a, a lot of good people coming together and adding their contributions along the way. And they're- And I'm glad you're putting up with this history. That's really nice. Yeah. It's wonderful. But um, that's about all I have to say. Okay. And let you know that I've enjoyed this.